Hiya, welcome to the next video. Uh, so remember, we're going to kind of go re go over um, these random variables to kind of see where these are coming from. Uh, and we're going to do this actually through a little quick table to kind of see how things are. So we're going to roll a six, a fair six sided die. And we're going to look at the random variable way of doing things, the subsets, um, etc. So say I want to say the number on the die is a six. Um, so in this case, what we want is our subset, our event is just six. Um, and here we had been writing a P of six. So the new way is basically to say, okay, make X to be equal to six. Um, and we say probability of X being six. So this is the way we're going to start doing things. Um, okay. So how about the next one on the number on the die is less than three. So normally we would have to sit here and think about it. We would get our subset one of two. And here we get the probability of one plus the probability of two. In the new way, we just say, okay, if the number is less than three, so X has to be less than three. Notice how this works a lot more nicely with the English language. It fits super well. Uh, and then in this case, we get probability that X is less than three. Okay. Um, we can also put in regular variables into our random variables. So if I want the number on the die to be just X, well, I can just say, normally this we would see as just some X. So this is just probability of X. And in the new way, we just say X is equal to X, which might seem a little weird, but this is perfectly okay. Like we can put in a variable into our random variable. It's like we can also do less than or equal to like this is okay. Nothing changes, right? Right. Uh, we can also look at subsets is in the subset B. Um, so this we would normally write as P of B. Uh, here we have the, the new notation that X is contained in B, etc. So yes, in these smaller examples, it doesn't like it doesn't help, but for larger examples, and we'll start seeing larger examples, especially in exercise to homeworks, um, you'll start seeing um, why these are kind of a better way to do things. Um, so if we use X, so if we're using some random variable X um, and we use it to define um, an event A, then what we're going to say is that the event A is determined by X. So A is determined by X um, as in, Whatever we set the value of X to be, that's how the event A will be written. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna start using this notation from here on out. Um, I might occasionally forget and use the old notation. In that case, I am wrong, don't follow me. Um, use this new notation. Um, now, if we go through all the possible subsets of A, like if we go through all the different things, what we'll end up getting is a distribution of X. So we can actually get a distribution of this random variable um, based off the different things that we can put into our X. Um, so what this means is in particular is that the any particular outcome, right? So any probability in particular is given by this. So the big X has to be equal to little x. So if I look at the total probability, right? If I want to look at the probability of X being in my event a, then this is just going to be the sum of every X in a times X being equal to X. So that's how we're going to be looking at the distribution in this um, kind of way. Um, and so, yeah, so at this point, you're probably going to start getting really confused about little X, big X, um, this is super confusing. Don't worry. Um, like it's one of those things you're just gonna have to practice with and start trying to understand the difference between the two. Um, and it's not something that's going to click in two seconds. Um, the most I can help, um, is that a random variable. Um, so we'll go through this again. A random variable is just a normal variable that represents certain things inside of events. So you can think, so that's it. Um, a variable itself can be much more, um, so a variable is going to be itself the thing. So this here is a variable, thing is normal variable, 
normal variable. And a random variable is going to be all the things kind of thing. I just said thing like 9,000 9, times. Um, so yeah, so this means we can have x be equal to x. That's okay. Uh, one thing that doesn't make sense, though, is you'll notice that p of x doesn't make sense. This doesn't actually tell us anything. Um, so just note that you can't really write the probability of x. This doesn't really make sense. Um, so, okay. So yeah, I kind of already mentioned that the dummy variable is used in the book. Um, okay. Well, that's next. So say I have an event, I rolled a five sided die and I get, and a, I get an, Ooh, dear human. I need to fix this. Uh, this a needs to go away and I need a space here. Uh, I get an X, uh, and an event. I pulled the number Y out of a hat. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Rewind, rewind, we run, we run. What do you mean we got two random variables? Yeah, so we can have two different events and each one will have their own value random variables. Um, so what would happen if I were to say, okay, so I have these two events, that's okay. What happens if I say X is equal to U is equal to the probability that Y is equal to V? That's a little weird, right? But all I'm saying is that the if you just have to read this is that the probability, the probability that we get you when rolling a five sided die, this is coming from I roll a five sided die and I get an X is equal to is the same as the probability of pulling out a V from out of the hat, right? This is this one. And that's it. Um, so I'm going to do a little, a little aside. It's going to be a little technical, so don't worry about it too much. Um, this is just more for people who want to continue doing probability or have to do higher level probability um, or statistics or higher things. Uh, but note that um, if you look at the definition of a random variable in Wikipedia, it's actually going to be a little confusing since we're not defining it in the exact same way. Uh, and the reason why we're not defining it in the exact same way is that normally we can think of a random variable as a function. Um, so the way they kind of do it is um, we need exact definition. So just saying that X is a variable of something that's not very precise. So instead what we say is X is going to be some function going from the sample space to some subset. Um, and then at that point we would have to use this random variable function instead of just um, plugging things in. So it is a little more confusing. Uh, here I've given in this aside a little more information if you want to understand that a little more, uh, but I'm not requiring it. Um, it's just something to kind of know. Um, we'll go through a quick example and then we'll move on to the next um, sections. Uh, so quick example, um, I want to, I roll a die um, I didn't state what kind of die, so this is going to be a fair six-sided. Uh, and I want to calculate the probability. So what's the probability that x is equal to 2? Uh, well, this is just 1, 6, right? I have a 1, 6 chance of rolling a 2. Uh, what's the chance of getting less than or equal to 4? Well, this is just 4 over 6, right? Roll a 1, 2, 3, or 4. Uh, we can also look at something a little more complicated. What's the probability that X divided by two is an integer? So if you're not used to this, this is the set of integers. What is this saying? This is saying that X divided by two is, um, integer. That means this implies we can divide by two, divide by two with no, by two with no remainder aka even number. So this is just one half because half of them are even. So this is rule an even number. And you can start seeing how powerful this kind of new random way of doing things with a random variable, how this is going to be very powerful for future things. So we're going to end the video here. Um, 
and I will talk with you or we'll see each other in the next video when we talk about functions. So I will see you then.